left I have chosen is reverse odd levels of binary tree. Here in this question we are given a bi the perfect binary tree and what do we need to do? We need to reverse the node values at each odd level of the binary tree. So this is the question and it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll be explaining you the algorithm by a test case through the presentation. So let's quickly move on to the PPT. I have slightly taken a longer example so that you guys get a good hold of the concept. The perfect binary tree is given to us as 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 67, 89, 91, 20, 76, 9, 1, 5. What do we need to do? We need to reverse odd levels of binary tree, the values in the odd levels of binary tree. So what are the odd levels of the binary tree? This is the first level and this puts the third level. So let's number them up 0, 1, 2, 3. Since we are interested in reversing the elements level wise, so what kind of approach strikes your mind? The only approach that strikes to your mind should be BFS approach because that's more intuitive in nature. Uh, in BFS approach, we iterate the node level by level. So also we need to keep track of the odd level so we can create a variable named level. And whenever we see that the level happens to be odd in nature, then only we'll do the operation on the uh, BFS on that BFS level. Let's start the iteration and instead of storing the values corresponding to each level, we'll be storing the node references. So here corresponding to the 0th level, we will be storing the node uh, value, entire node value instead of 2. So it has the entire node in it instead of the node value. Remember this point. Since the level is even in nature, we will not perform the reversal operation. Let's proceed ahead. Next level that we have is 1 and what we are going to do, we will perform the BFS reversal and we will store both these nodes in an array and the first node would be 3, the second node would be 5. Uh, since we have them as part of an array, what we are going to do, we will create another array where we will extract uh, their node values and what node values would be there, it would be 3 and 5 and here we have references to the nodes, not uh, the node values. So once we have them, what we will be doing, we will be iterating in the reverse direction in this array and we will be setting those values as part of the, the array where we are storing, storing the node references. So here uh, we will start in the reverse direction. The value here is 3. So this node will get updated to have value 3 and this node will get updated to have value 5. So remember we are creating a copy of nodes node values first and iterate then iterating in the reverse direction to appropriately correct those node values you'll understand it in the next iteration so the next level that we have happens to be two uh, since it's even in nature we'll not be doing anything extra and the last level that we have happens to be three which is odd in nature since it's odd in nature we will perform the reversal operation so in the first go what we will be doing we will be storing the node references and let's just write it up because it's a long array. The first node is 67. So let's write 67 and let me just write asterisks over here that re represents that those are node references. Then we have 89, then we have 91, then we have 20, then we have 76, then we have 9, then we have 1, then we have 5. Now what I'm going to do, I'll create a copy of this entire array in the same order and here I'll be storing the node values, only the node values. So here we have the references and here we have those values. So let me just rewrite the asterisk signs over here to differentiate and let's create a copy. We have 5, we have 1, we have 9, we have 7, we have 20, we have 91, we have 89, we have 69. And now what I'm going to do, I'll start the iteration in the reverse order in the nodes array and I'll walk here in the increasing order. So this 5 node will get the value. Let me just change the color of pen. This 5 node will get the value of 67. So here the node value will be updated to 67. Here the node value will be updated to 89. Here the node value will be updated to 91. So it gets updated to 91. Here the node value will be updated to 20. Here the node value will be updated to 7. So this gets updated. Here the node value will be updated to only 9. Here the node value will be updated to 1. Here the node value will be updated to 5. 
and this is in sync with our expectation we have basically iterated in the reverse order and reset the values of node that node node where the references were stored so this is pretty much it let's quickly walk through the code section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i've just talked here if my root is null i simply return the root otherwise i go in and create my queue I add my root onto the queue. I create a new variable level and initialize it to zero. While my queue is not empty, I extract the size as my size minus minus is greater than zero. The same template that I use for BFS traversal that I have been using from past two years. I extract the node at the topmost index. I check whether its leftmost pointer is not null. I add it into the queue. Similarly for the rightmost pointer. Moving ahead, I increment my level variable and. I check if my level is odd in nature. If that is the case, what do I do? I create a duplicate array, and here uh, node values will be stored rather than the node references that are present in my queue. Uh, here I am storing those node values in the form of an array. And moving ahead, I I create uh, over those node values in the reverse order. I create duplicate array in reverse order and set them as part of the nodes. So I iterate over the queue again, and I set node dot value to nums of j. I decrement the j pointer. Once I'm out of this loop, I simply return the root. So let's try this up. Accepted. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this question and you understood it fully. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. If you are interested in looking out for more solutions of the weekly content C11, those are referenced below in the description. So do check them out.